War is a chilling concept that reverberates throughout history, and it's something I've come to understand deeply through my love of history. My great-grandmother lived through the horrors of concentration camps, and I still remember the tattoo on her arm, a poignant reminder of the PTSD that history leaves behind. Growing up during conflicts like the Gulf War and witnessing current events such as the turmoil in Ukraine and the violence in Israel, I frequently find myself concerned about the state of our world. Never in the history of nations have we possessed so many weapons of mass destruction. Brilliant minds dedicate their lives to developing sophisticated technologies for killing. The creator of dynamite, Alfred Nobel, even established the Nobel Peace Prize in a desire to leave a legacy contrary to his invention. Yet despite all our advancements in weaponry, we have not achieved lasting security. In fact, our world feels increasingly precarious. As it says in Ecclesiastes 3.8, a time for war and a time for peace. But it seems we are in a perpetual cycle of conflict. At any given moment, at least 30 wars are raging across various parts of the globe, not to mention countless instances of civil unrest. This situation brings to mind the words of the prophet Jeremiah, who lamented the insincerity of those proclaiming peace in a time of turmoil. They have healed the wound of my people lightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Jeremiah 6.14 ESV In the midst of this uncertain and threatening world, we can find true peace. Isaiah 40.31 reminds us, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is a promise that transcends the chaos around us, encouraging us to place our trust in the living God, who provides a sanctuary amidst the storm. Thank you for watching. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you now, lifting up Israel and the conflicts raging in Ukraine and around the world. We pray for the believers in these areas, asking that they find peace and comfort in the midst of turmoil, becoming a shining light and beacon of hope during these dark times. Lord, remind us to continuously pray for our fellow believers around the globe, especially those in places where faith in you is not embraced. Strengthen us as we build our faith and trust in you, knowing that your peace can restore our hearts, even as we face the daily battles against the enemy. Dot, thank you for your protection, for your unwavering love, and for the promises you have given us. We hold on to these truths as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.